Okay, Juan, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, well, uh, I had to start the recording and start a new one because the audio and the video is not, is too slow. Okay? Yes. So, yes. can you see me clearly? Yes, yes. And how about the audio? Is it okay? Yes, yes. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. All right, Wong, can you hear me now? Yes, right. Yes. Okay. Well, I think Zoom has a problem tonight. Okay, anyway, let's start to Let's start to um, begin with the lesson, okay? So now, Wong, this is um, conjunctions and but, because, and so, all right? Can you repeat the words, Wong? And? And but, because, so, so. Okay, so these words are called conjunctions. And, but, because, and, so. All right, let's see. All right, so what is conjunctions? Uh, Huang, can you read it? What is conjunctions? All right. So conjunctions are used to join and connect clauses. Each conjunction expresses a different meaning. All right. So conjunction, Huang means these are the words that connect two words together. Okay. Yes. All right, yes. so here are the examples of conjunctions. All right, Wong, when do we use the word and? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, when we use is, we end something to Barvist Okay. So we use the word and when we express addition, when we use it, we add something to the previous clause. Example, my favorite food is cake and 
ice cream. Okay, so we use the word and. Uh, next one, Huang. How about you? Can you make a sentence, please? Using the word and. Um, the radish and the tiger. Again, again, again. The tiger and a rabbit. Your fa your favorite animal is mm -hmm. a cat and rabbit. All right, wait a minute. Okay, very good. The next one. Let's talk about the word bot. Okay, so when do you use the word bot, Juan? Um, we, when we use it, we are opposites to idea. Yes. All right, so we use the word uh, we use the word bot to express contrast. When we use it, we are opposing two ideas. Okay, example. Wait, um I like swimming in the beach, but I'm scared of the waves. Okay, we use the word bot. How about you, uh, Huang? Can you make a sentence using the word bot? The cat, but I don't like the ladder. The ladder. Okay, very good. The next one. Let's use the word because. Okay, so we use the word because when we express a cause or when we use it, we are presenting a reason. An example. I like eating ice cream because it's sweet and cold. Uh, one more. I like going to the school because I can see my friends there. Okay, how about you, Huang? Make a sentence using because. The cat because is so cute. Okay, very good. Next one. Okay, let's use the word so. So is used to express the result of something stated on the previous clause. Example, I, I studied my lessons, so I got a high score in the test. How about you, Huang? Um... Um. Um. Again, I learned. I studied my lesson, so I got the high score in the test. He can speak English so fluently. Okay, that's good. All right, next one, Huang. Let's see. All right, so now let's practice. All right, so you have to complete the sentences, Huang, using the word so and because. 
want the play. Mm -hmm. So we went to the park. So we went to the park. Number two. He was very bad yesterday because he closed his head. So number three. I am happy because it's my birthday. I am happy because, my because it's my birthday, number four. He dispatched the album because, because, because yes. Because, because he did study to the right best. Thank you. Okay, number five. He the telephone because I was listening to the music. Very good. Six. Um, number six is I did want to walk home, so I took a taxi. So, okay, very good. Okay, wait a minute, Huang. I will just charge my laptop. All right, very good, Wong. You got the perfect score here. I know you got one wrong answer. Now that's a total of five points for you. Okay, next one, Wong. So now let's answer letter C, match, and then cover the two parts of the sentences. All right, so match and color the two parts of the sentences. So look at the picture, Huang. Where are these people? I'll look at them. Where are these people? I can see it. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. I All right. Why are these people in the shopping? Mm-hmm. So they are in the shopping center? Yes. All right. So what kind of shopping center is that? Or what are they buying? They buy a shirt. Okay. They are buying a shirt. Next one. Okay, what are they buying? A shirt or a sweater. Number three, what can you see on the sweater? What animal is on the sweater? I see the bat. A bat, okay. Do you have a do you have a t-shirt or a sweater that has a bat? Um what? Have you uh do you have a shirt or a sweater or a coat does that have a bat? No. 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 Oh, me too. I don't have. On number four, who is the sweater for? The mother or the daughter? The daughter. The daughter, yes, because it's small. Next one, what other animals can you see in the picture? So aside from bat, what else is the kind of animals that you can see here? What? 
What other animals can you see here on the picture? Um, I see the doctor, a mom, and um. A lion, a girl, a girl. Yes, there is a lion and a goat. Good job, Huang. All right, next one. Now, let's have matching activity. Okay, let's see. All right, so now, Huang, teacher is going to play a recording. And then all you have to do is to, um, is to match the following sentences, okay? Uh, tell me if you're ready to listen. Okay. Okay. 6B. My things. Listen and look. There is one example. Which animal picture is on each thing? I love animals. Uncle Jack, I've got pictures of them everywhere. Look. Do you like my sweater? <laughs> yes, it's great, Betty. Mum bought it for me. She got it last year when we visited the zoo. It's got a bat on it. Look, I wear it to school sometimes. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My friend Mary gave me a brush with a lovely butterfly picture on it. It's up there on my shelf, next to that little plastic lizard. I use it every day. Shall I show it to you? Yes, please. But look, that's my favourite animal of all. The one on my new snowboard. Mum bought this for me last January when we were on holiday in the mountains. I love swans, don't you? They're so pretty. Yes, they're very nice. And these are my new gloves. Grandma made them for me to wear to school in cold weather. They're very warm. And look, she put these purple octopuses on them. She's very clever. What a great birthday present. Your hands look really warm. Do you like my umbrella? It's got animals on it too. My cousin Ben bought it for me because it's got dolphins on it. He knows I love them. That was kind of him. Do you have any other animal pictures on your things? Yes, Uncle Jack. I've got some on my rucksack. I took it on holiday with me when we went camping last summer. The sharks on the pockets look really dangerous. I love them, but I hated the flies that came in our tent. All right, so are you able to follow it or do you want to listen one more time, Juan? One more time. Okay. 6B. My things. Listen and look. There is one example. Which animal picture is on each thing? I love animals. Uncle Jack, I've got pictures of them everywhere. Look, do you like my sweater? <laughs> yes, it's great, Betty. Mum bought it for me. She got it last year when we visited the zoo. It's got a bat on it. Look, I wear it to school sometimes. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My friend Mary gave me a brush with a lovely butterfly picture on it. It's up there on my shelf, next to that little plastic lizard. 
I use it every day. Shall I show it to you? Yes, please. But look, that's my favourite animal of all. The one on my new snowboard. Mum bought this for me last January when we were on holiday in the mountains. I love swans, don't you? They're so pretty. Yes, they're very nice. And these are my new gloves. Grandma made them for me to wear to school in cold weather. They're very warm. And look, she put these purple octopuses on them. She's very clever. What a great birthday present. Your hands look really warm. Do you like my umbrella? It's got animals on it too. My cousin Ben bought it for me because it's got dolphins on it. He knows I love them. That was kind of him. Do you have any other animal pictures on your things? Yes, Uncle Jack. I've got some on my rucksack. I took it on holiday with me when we went camping last summer. The sharks on the pockets look really dangerous. I love them, but I hated the flies that came in our tent. All right, so now, Huang, all you have to do is to draw a line going to your answers. Okay, just draw a line connecting two sentences. Yes, draw a line. Why did you raise your answer? I can't hear it. You, you can't hear it? Yes. Okay, one more one more time. 6B. My things. Listen and look. There is one example. Which animal picture is on each thing? I love animals. Uncle Jack, I've got pictures of them everywhere. Look, do you like my sweater? <laughs> yes, it's great, Betty. Mum bought it for me. She got it last year when we visited the zoo. It's got a bat on it. Look, I wear it to school sometimes. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My friend Mary gave me a brush with a lovely butterfly picture on it. It's up there on my shelf, next to that little plastic lizard. I use it every day. Shall I show it to you? Yes, please. But look, that's my favourite animal of all. The one on my new snowboard. Mum bought this for me last January when we were on holiday in the mountains. I love swans, don't you? They're so pretty. Yes, they're very nice. 
And these are my new gloves. Grandma made them for me to wear to school in cold weather. They're very warm. And look, she put these purple octopuses on them. She's very clever. What a great birthday present. Your hands look really warm. Do you like my umbrella? It's got animals on it too. My cousin Ben bought it for me because it's got dolphins on it. He knows I love them. That was kind of him. Do you have any other animal pictures on your things? Yes, Uncle Jack. I've got some on my rucksack. I took it on holiday with me when we went camping last summer. The sharks on the pockets look really dangerous. I love them, but I hated the flies that came in our tent. Okay, so were you able to follow it? Okay, very good. Let's check your answers. Oh, don't erase it. Okay, the first one is green, correct? Next one is purple. Purple, oh, correct. Next one, blue, correct? Yellow, correct? Oh, where's red? Red and orange, yes, correct. And last one is, yes, very good. That's a perfect score, Huang. All right, good job. So one, two, three, four, five, six points for you. Good job. Okay, next one, Huang. Okay, for our last activity, let's answer letter D. Ask and answer questions about some more of Betty's things. So we're going to talk about Betty's things. All right. Okay, now, Wong, I'm going to ask you letter A, and you can see the answers on the screen, okay? So, question number one, Wong, about Betty's keyboard. What is the color of Betty's keyboard? It's silver. Silver. When did she got it? <clears throat> Saturday. Is the keyboard new or old? New. New. Who gave it to her? Her aunt. Aunt. Where is the keyboard now? Is upstairs. Yes, very good. Okay, next one. Let's talk about Betty's violin. All right, is Betty's violin new or old? It's old. Mm -hmm. Where did where is the violin now? Downstairs. Downstairs. Who gave it to Betty? Grandfather. Grandfather, when did she got it? She, she got in last birthday. Okay. What is the color of the violin? It's light brown. It's light brown. Okay, very good. So, good job, Huang. All your answers are correct. One, two, three, four, five. So now this is a total of 10 correct answers. Very good. All right. So these are the questions that I ask you. Okay. What color is it? When did she get it? Is it new or old? Who gave it to her? And where is it now? So those are some questions that I asked you. So let's do an animal quiz, um, Huang. This is the last part. All right. So read and circle. Uh, read the questions and circle your correct answers. Okay. Number one question, Akia uh, Huang. Why do African elephants have big ears? Or why do you think they have big ears? 
Is it letter A, B, or C? Uh, what letter is your answer? B. Letter B. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. I will write your answer. Letter B. Okay, number two. What is the largest animal in the world? What is largest? Largest means it's the most, it's the biggest. Oh, it's a uh, I. I. It's A. Let's see. Next one, number three. How long has there been life on our planet? Uh, C. C. Okay, last one, number four. Whales and dolphins are big fish. Uh, no. No. Next one. Can you spell hippopotamus? Uh, can you spell that word, Huang? Hippopotamus. I don't know spell. How about hippo? Do you know how to spell hippo? Yeah. Okay, how do you spell hippo? Can you spell it now, please? H-I-P-P-O. Very good. That is hippo. Next one. Let's see. Okay. Wait a minute. So, question number six. And butterfly. Oh, how do you spell butterfly? Right. Okay, how do you spell butterfly? B U 
T T E R S L Y. Okay, very good. Next one. Can animals live at the bottom of the sea? No. No. Okay, next one. Can horses stand? Oh, I can hear you. It's mute. It mute. Okay. Can horses stand up and sleep at the same time? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so how many legs does an insect have? Six. Okay, when did dinosaurs become extinct? C, okay. All right, anyway, let's continue this one again. Tomorrow, Huang, all right? I like uh, All right, so let's continue this one again tomorrow. Bye, Wong.